Right, good evening. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all enjoying your Saturday so far. I know I am, at least I was, <laughs> for a brief moment until I've stumbled upon something that, that's really sort of ticked me off. Um, people still do not get the whole Tom Welling, Superman, Henry Cavill playing Superman thing. There's still, there's still people wanting Tom Welling to play Superman in a, in a Superman movie or Smallville movie. Okay, um, the Internet Movie Database, a lot of you will probably go there. And there's a particular um, board for Smallville. And this is where you know a lot of Smallville fans come together and it's turned into a bitch fest, basically. Um, I've seen posts that have been put on here whereby people have had a go at other people regarding saying how they don't like Lois, people saying that they don't like Lana. When someone says that they do like Lana, that person gets attacked for liking Lana. Someone says that they like Lois, they get attacked for liking Lois. It's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously. But um, this one post um, in particular caught my eye um, over a month ago. It was way back in February. And it's by a dude called This Is John Connor. It's titled, Why Don't They Just Do A Smallville Movie With Thomas Superman? Now I'm not going to go right into real specifics as to what has been written, because um, I've read all the all the posts that have been left, all the all the all, all the replies, but one reply that actually stood out, okay, and it was in response to a guy called Cal Thirty Eight who sent who did a post on the on the third of March. So this this is John Connor comes back with a reply. Basically, what this Cal Thirty Eight person said was, "Tell me why you think this movie is a mess," because according to this is John Connor, he reckons. Man of Steel that's coming out next year it's a mess okay um, he's asked tell me why you think this movie is a mess have you seen it do you know the plot were you involved with the cast and the director and producing the screenplay no I didn't think so so please before you judge a movie in that manner have the decency to wait for a trailer at the very least so he comes back with his 11 points as to why the movie is a mess not that it's going to be a mess but why it is a mess so present day present tense kind of thing one a British actor was cast as an American, as an iconic American superhero. I think you forget the fact that Christian Bale, who's British, has been has been playing Batman. Um, Andrew Garfield, who's also British, has been playing um, Spider-Man. Um, we could even go into say as far as Hugh Jackman, who's Australian, playing Wolverine. Um, you know, do you want me to get further and further into it? Yeah, um, Chris Hemsworth, who's Australian, playing Thor. Yeah, you know, I can throw in others into the mix if you want me to, son. Um, Zod is being used again instead of a new villain, which he says is unoriginal. This is only the second time that we're going to see Zod in a big screen movie. Okay, the first time we saw him was in Superman Two, so yeah, he's not been he's not been used more than you know as many times as Lex, for example. Um, no John Williams score. That's by the by. Um, it's a new. It's a reboot. It's a new take everything's brand new so you're going to expect a new score as well yes I'm not too happy that John Williams is not going to do the score I was even hoping Hans Zimmer was going to do the score as well but he said he's not going to do it but we'll see who does it uh, number four it's too soon after Superman Returns no it's not that was six years ago so not really um, number five Amy Adams is too old yes it is a problem how Amy Adams is, in, is just you know yes she's in her 30s but Erica Durant is older than Amy Adams and yet people still want her to play Lois Lane so whatever that doesn't really say anything um, six Zack Snyder can't tell a good story I don't know some of the movies that I've watched these directed have been pretty good Watchmen 300 Sucker Punch I love Sucker Punch okay he even said in an interview that while the movie will get its criticisms it's the reason why it's called Sucker Punch is because it's just supposed to just hit you right in the face that's exactly what it does come on five hot chicks kicking ass <laughs> I'm game um, so yeah I, it's not that he can't tell a good story he can you're just not looking past it so that's your problem um, they've changed Superman costume Superman's costume too much he looks like freaking Spider-Man or one of the Fantastic Four dude go back to 1938 and then have a little timeline of all the different variations of the Superman costumes you have seen since then up until now and then tell me why, why it's been changed so much okay okay thank you <laughs> you can say that about Superman's costume but they've done the same with Batman's costume okay they've done it with Spider-Man's costume they've done it with Thor's costume Captain America's costume 
you're whinging about Superman's costume. Superman's like the oldest comic book character in the world. Of course there's going to be changes. Come on. Anyway, number, number eight. This was the kicker for me. This was the real kicker for me. And this is why I'm really pissed off. Perry White is being played by a black actor. Fucking hell, dude. Open your eyes. Open your fucking mind. While Perry White is being played by a black actor, yeah, you're forgetting something. What's his name again? Oh yeah, Samuel L. Jackson. Who's he playing? Nick Fury. Have you had your reservations about that? Did Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Thor and Captain America all suck because Nick Fury is being played by Samuel L. Jackson? Is Avengers going to suck because Nick Fury is being played by Samuel L. Jackson? Will an Avengers sequel suck because Nick Fury is being played by Samuel L. Jackson? I don't think so. We've seen what Samuel L. Jackson can do. We've seen what Lawrence Fishburne can do in other films that he's been in. So I've got 100% faith that despite being black, it's his acting ability that's good. that is why he was chosen as Perry White. Yes, we can say that in some sense it's a case of let's let's change the, the race of the, of the character. It's not changing the race of the character. It's just bringing it to an updated version kind of thing. Okay? Um, they did the same with Pete Ross in Smallville played by Sam Sam Jones III who's black but Pete Ross is supposedly supposed to be blonde hair and blue eyes but nobody really kicked a fuss when he was cast as a by a black guy you know when a black guy was played was cast to play um, Pete Ross in Smallville um, so your your point regarding that is more personal and especially the first one about the British actor being cast as an iconic American superhero those two points are more for your personal reasons, I think you just have issues with a black people and British people, so whatever. Um, number nine, David Hit and Miss Goya wrote the script and script problems were reported dozens of times in 2011. Okay, while that is true, what you've also got to remember is, excuse me, the movie is being produced by Christopher Nolan, the script has been overseen by Christopher Nolan, Zack Snyder, David Goya, Jonathan Nolan, and even Emma Thomas, Chris, Chris Nolan's wife. So, while the script has gone through changes, Again, don't just blame it all on David Goya. Um, number 10, rebooting the series wasn't necessary. How was it not necessary? You're forgetting that we've had the previous five films before Man of Steel have all had some sort of continuation. Not one of them was a reboot of the next. Superman the movie, Superman 2, 3 and 4, and then Superman Returns, which, as Brian Singer actually said, was if we disregard 3 and 4, Superman Returns actually continues five years after the events of Superman 2. So, how was a reboot not necessary? Okay, the character has been developed in 1938. The first movie came out in 1978. I don't know where your point is going in there. And then your 11th reason are you for real? The movie is obviously a mess. Seriously, how do you know? And based on your list, <laughs> I'm laughing. I really am because you really just haven't got a clue. Open your eyes, open your mind, stop being so fucking narrow minded. Get with the program, get with the script. Wait until June twenty, June fourteenth, twenty thirteen, or at least until a trailer comes out. Then we can be the judge of whether or not this film is going to succeed. I've got my high hopes about it. A lot of other people have their high hopes about it. You just want to see a small movie with Tom Welling and Erica Durant. But again, we're going back to the age thing. Tom Welling is well into his thirties. Erica Durant, I believe, is in her forties, late thirties, early forties. And yet people still want her to play Eric, um, Lois Lane. Yeah, some people really do have um, issues, as it were. You know? <laughs> um, where are we going? Right, okay. Whilst, hmm, it's still quite difficult to even determine if that's even true. Because according to IMDb, Erica Durata's birthday is June the 21st, 1978. Hmm, Okay. I'll let that slide. So she's just two years older than me. That's all right. I'll let that slide. Um, again, if we look at, say, Tom Welling, that dude was born a year, or he's just a year older as well. So again, here's a character in his 30s. We've got, I mean, here's an actor in his 30s. We've got Erica Durant also in her 30s. And you're saying that Amy Adams is too old to play Lois Lane. She's only four years older than Erica. Am I missing something, people? Seriously, really? So I'll retract my comment regarding that Erica's older than she seems, because she's obviously not. But 
Still, Amy Adams looks great for her age. Look past it, please, just look past it, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Guys, leave your comments below, and if you wanna check out this thread on IMDB, it is titled, Why Don't They Just Do a Small Movie With Tom as Superman? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm off, see you later, bye.